Check it out, fellas. That's why fall flounder is so good. That is a good one, son. That's what it's all about right there. 22. 22. Let's go, brother. <laughs> 22. Over the rail. Hey. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bayou Bandit Charters. Fall is in the air. The water is cleaning up, and we're out here gigging some flounder. I got some charter clients out here tonight. Drove all the way from Tampa, Florida to come gigging with me. Conditions are right. Water is clean and clear. Look at that, y'all. Already got some some nice flounder in the box. And we're fixing to see if we can get on some more. If y'all love inshore fishing along the Alabama, Mississippi Gulf Coast, y'all like flounder gigging, give my channel a subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Really help my channel grow. If you love the video, give the video a like. Enough talking. Let's get back in the action. Beautiful water. There's a little baby one right there. He's almost big enough. He's almost big enough. He's a little bigger than I thought he was. There's another little one. He won't he won't quite make it right there. You guys get better view there. He was close. Well, there's one right there. He's deep. Oh, I had to get him. Oh, sorry. I don't... <laughs> My God, that's a monster. There we go. There we go. Got a good one. Got we'll a good one. Woo! Check it out, fellas. That is a big boy. That's why fall flounder is so good. Yes, sir. That one's sitting on probably about 19 and a half. Let's lay him up there. Lay him up there. Push him. Push him down a little bit. Oh, he. Yep. He's. An, look at there, y'all. 19 and a half. Nice one. Nice one. Boom. Over the rail and in the pail. Hit the clicker. Nine. Let's go. And he was laying in this sand in a little bit deeper water. But we can see so far, y'all. We can see we can see probably 10 foot out on the deep side. We can see way up here on the shallow side absolutely beautiful beautiful water if y'all are interested in coming out on one of these flounder gigging or saltwater bow fishing charters y'all give me a call right here at this number i run trips every thursday friday and saturday nights year round i am currently booking bow fishing trips for december january and february all right everybody there's a small flounder he's not quite big enough but he's right there wow and they are so good at camouflaging. There's a nice track where a big flounder has been laying. We're just creeping along to try to cover so much ground because you can see everywhere. Absolutely perfect water conditions. Clean water, a little north breeze blowing. And putting fish in the box. Yep. You got him. <laughs> Just pulled up. Man, so Just pulled up to the bank. We moved to a different location. Just pulled up. And boom, right off the bat. All right, I ain't gonna gig no more of your fish now. The rest of them yours. Boom, <laughs> click the clicker. Well, you gotta put neon lights on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even have the boat turn parallel with the bank. I mean, we just... He's mad. We just pulled up. Just pulled up here. Good call, Bandit, good call. <laughs> Thank you, brother. The tide was a little bit too low for that other area where we were at. So we came and relocated. 
I knew the water would be a little bit deeper here. And I think it's gonna pay off good for us. This is, this is picture perfect. They love laying in this sand and getting close to that mud. What a beautiful night. There's a there's two babies right there. There's one right there and one right there. Right, that one. Yep. That's a good sign. Been seeing a lot of small fish. See, there's another small flounder right there. That's a good sign. That's next year's crop and the year after that. Real good, healthy ecosystem out here. That's what I love seeing. Good, nice doormat flounder mixed in with the next generation of fish. A little one over here on this side. Oh, this is beautiful. Man, look how clean and clear the water is. And they love laying around this, this spotty grass, this broken broken up grass. Oh, there's a good one. That's a good one right there. He's down. Wrong end. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. All right, well, I got him. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Damn, I did hit the wrong end on that one. That's all right. That's a doormat, son. That's a doormat. All right, Rusty, you you've been dethroned. <laughs> nah, that's, that's 20 right under the That's 21, 21 and a half. Yeah, you're gonna be the biggest one. That is a good one, son. That's what it's all about right there. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Let's go, brother. That's the second twenty-two I've gotten out of this boat. <laughs> twenty-two. Over the rail. And in the pail. Boom. Thank you, boss. Yes, sir. Door mat, baby. Twenty-two inches. You know that's the second one at twenty the other ring was twenty-two and a half. So that I've gotten out of your boat. <laughs> that was last trip, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it was right when we started. It was like the first one we hit. Yeah, it was. <laughs> wrong end, wrong end. But well, we got him. You did right. You held him down. Yeah. And uh, before we get a gig in his head. So that was that was good. Them holes will fry up just fine. That's right. Yep, right there. There you go. Twist and pull up. Watch the captain, Rusty. You got him. You no, know, you good, brother. You good. There we go. About a 15, yeah, I got a 15 and a half. You've got one of the big ones. <laughs> Over the rail and in the pail. Yeah, right. There you go. You there you go. Yeah. Hit my clicker. We're clicking along. Clicking along, Good baby. Job. Good job. See, there he goes swimming. Not there you go. <laughs> you got him, brother. Rusty, I got a swimmer this time. <laughs> right. Not a good shot. But there you go. 15 inches so yep <laughs> <laughs> good job captain <laughs> get your clicker oh yes good baking size flounder right there or stuffing yep he ain't quite big enough look at that tw triple tail y'all look at him there he goes They've got to be, they've got to be 18 inches and he was sitting on about 16, 16 and a half. You never know what you're going to see out here on a flounder gigging trip. That's some fine eating. If that joker had been a little bit bigger, it is good eating. we'd have put him in the boat. We are in Mississippi waters and we are allowed to gig redfish and triple tail and other things. You got him, son. Perfect. You got him. Pull him on up. You got him. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Damn. <laughs> Good I mean, job, brother. With everything I got. Oh, that's Woo, mean. That is a mean old redfish. Don't drop him. Good job, out. brother. No, they, you need to for video purposes. Uh, you got. We got him. All right. We got him, brother. I Over the rail. And in the pail. And oh in the pail. God, He's that. bigger than mine now. I ain't got any spray, right? You gotta just shut up and be quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> you're, right now, you're lucky we go home with separate cars. <laughs> 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 
Thank you, Bandit. You the man, brother. Yep, folks, we are in Mississippi waters and you are allowed to get redfish and shoot them with a bow in Mississippi. He's right, right there, head facing away from us. Got him. Twist and pull up. You just do have him. Get him oh, in the boat. Man. Get him in the boat. <laughs> you, you know, there we go. You, you can tell the captain or the marine patrol that you caught him up in line. No <laughs> meat wasted on him. <laughs> just a tooth. <laughs> wow, you barely got him. Yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> you should have swam away, little guy. Man, you didn't damage any meat. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Thank click you. click the counter. Get it. I get it. Click get it. it. What are we on? 14 now. 14. All right. Yeah, the closer you get to him before you gig him, the less that. Was that still a little that, away on it? Yeah, less, less that light refraction will get you. Good job. 14. There's one that's a little too short, laying right there. All right, yeah, right, yeah. right there. Uh, there's one right here. I can barely go. see. I'm gonna get him. Go ahead. I got him. Good job. I got him. I got him, brother. You gotta measure him for the video. That's a good one right there. He's sitting on about, about 19, 19 and a half. Over the rail, in the pail. Hit my clicker for me there, brother. Yes, sir. 15. Be some up here in this creek drain. It's harder to see. Yeah, Cause that water coming out is stained, but I, I just couldn't make that one out. But they love the mouth of creek drains. And that's where he was. And y'all watching the video, you can't see as good on camera with a GoPro as you can actually see in this water. See, it may may turn out where it looks real muddy on the camera, but it, it is stained, but we're able to see the bottom. And I've said it before on previous videos, but I love these 2200 Kelvin five-star LED lights. Uh, the link, if you want any bow fishing lights, or flounder gigging lights they'll be down in the description below and as you can hear we're, we're just as quiet as can be uh y'all follow my channel y'all know i don't run a generator i run all lithium batteries uh ionic lithium batteries and danny rogers with performance fishing electronics is the man for all your electronics whether you need trolling motors units power poles uh lithium batteries whatever you need uh his link is also down in the description below and y'all know i'm using my boutwell cane poles and my Carlson gigs if y'all need a cane pole uh a gigging pole or a fishing cane pole anything like that mr craig boutwell uh in andalusia alabama his uh his phone number and information is also down in the description <laughs> he juked you, brother. He juked, juked you again. <laughs> look at the little flounder right there. You can oh, yeah. Look at that little baby. Bump him. Poop. <laughs> There's your one right there. See that flounder? You want it? Get him. There you go. Good gig. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. I'm in the gills that time. Uh, that's what you want right there. Perfect gig. Nice fish sitting on about probably 16 and a half, 17. Yep. Good one, brother. Nice box of fish. <laughs> Over the rail and in the pail. Say that all day long. What are we up to? 16. 16. All right. Nice. This is another prime area right here. You've got a little creek drain right here. We're gonna look real, real good. I'm fixing to show him to you. He's a good one. And I'll get you closer to him, but he's right there in that circle. His head's facing you. You see him? Is that a flounder? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Let me ease over to him. That's beyond a 
that's the... We got a good one. That's the doormat. He's sitting on 20... About 20 inches. Maybe 20 and a half. His head's facing us. He's right there, guys, on film. We're going get, to get Rusty up there close to him. Down, don't go up like that, go down on All right, he's on down, he's on down, he's on down, he's on down, he's on down. Gig, gig, there you go, you got him. All right, right, Rusty. Perfect. Perfect. There you go, there you go, son. Let him see it in the light there. You blew out his belly, Rusty. Sorry. <laughs> That's a good one, brother. That's a nice one. That's another doormat. Do you want to measure? No. Nah, no, we ain't got to measure. We'll measure them when we lay them all out. We'll look at all of them. <laughs> That's a box full of fish, y'all. Did, did you hit the clicker? Not yet. 17. 17, baby. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Rusty. Awesome, brother. That's yeah, a good that fish. Was another one. I was seeing that. I said, That's not really <laughs> 17, huh? Yes, sir. Let's see if we can get 20. <laughs> That's a good sound, those fish flopping around in that ice box. Best sound in the world. Get him harder. There you go. You got him. Good fish. Pretty one. Woo! That's a nice fish. Pretty one. Not as heavy as you think he'd be heavier than that. <laughs> Pretty one. Pretty. Pretty fish. Fit in the box. Hard to position. <laughs> <laughs> you want to dig some, Rusty? 19, right? Um, yes, sir. 19. All right. Let's see if we can make her an even 20. Need one more, Rusty. It's all up to you. All right. Well, that joker was laid up there pretty, too, wasn't he? Yeah, was... He's right. He's right there. His head and eyes is right there. I'm shining on him. Can you get him that far out? Oh, crap. So you right want me to reach you? Right here? Ease down. Oh, back to you. Right here, right Come back. Right, there. right there. Gig hard. All right. You got number 20. Twist and pull up. Ooh, let me try to get us over there a little bit. Oh, no. I got, I got All right, it. no, I'm going to put another one in. He's, he's just pulling it back to it. Twist and pull up. I got to kick you in the mud. Twist it a little more? Yeah, I got oh, it. Oh, that's a nice size finder. Oh, I barely got it. You got him. You got him. Oh, got him. There you go. Oh, right. There we go. Number 20. All right. All right. Boom. Damn, that was a good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We are back at the dock. Let me show you the results of the trip. Y'all, check out all those flounder. 20 flounder, two reds, a drum, a couple of mullet. What do y'all think about it, fellas? Y'all have a good trip? Oh, we yeah, had an right. awesome time. <laughs> <laughs> good deal. This is the way to go, people. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are our repeat guys. They're great guys. They've been with me before. We beat, we beat the record from last time. Oh, yes, so, we did. That is good. Got some real nice ones, some good bacon-sized fish. Smallest one we've got is this one right here. And he's setting it almost 15 inches. Uh, size limit is 12 in the state of Mississippi. Got some big, nice ones. I think this is our biggest one right here. That is a heavy, heavy fish. Closed mouth. He's sitting at 21 inches on the dot. Got a couple of 20s, 19s, 18s. Really, really good night. Look at all them beautiful flounder fillets. And that ain't even all of them. We got a bag full. Got seven or eight in here that's, uh, that we scaled, cut the head off, got them ready for baking or frying whole stuffing however you want to do them as well and we still got some redfish to take care of hope y'all enjoyed the video 
If you did, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already. I appreciate it. It really helps my channel grow. And if you didn't get to see me in the Bayou, you can see me right here on Bayou Bandit Charters every Sunday morning, 9 o'clock. Thank y'all. See y'all next week.